Hello friends, it's Wednesday. We're going to see how someone picks out their clothes for school. Do you pick out your own clothes when, when you come to school? Well, this, in this book, you'll learn how to. Chapter 1. What clothes have to say? My name is Chloe Clark Lee. Here are three things about me. I love my new karate class. I'm going to be a firefighter when I grow up. And my school uniform makes my elbows itch. Remember what I said about uniform? Uniform is the type of clothes that everybody, wear, everybody wears. That's why I'm so excited about Friday. It's a special dress-up day at my school. No uniforms. Mama says I can pick out my own outfit, but I'm not sure how to choose. Mama reminds me that clothes do more than just cover us. Clothes help tell the world things about us, she says. Uh-oh, what if my clothes blab all my secrets? Clothes do say something about people. Mama wears her uniform to work, but my other mom wears business suits. Their work clothes show one way they're different. I ask my cousin Jordan what his clothes say about him. He points to his jersey. This tells people I like football, he says, and it lets other fans know if we cheer for the same team. Is there something you wear that shows you're part of a group or a team? Maybe your dad or your mom has a baseball shirt or like a football jacket that lets them know which team they're rooting for. I guess clothes can also show how people are alike. Mama says that's why, we, that's why we wear school uniforms too. It helps everybody feel they belong at our school. Chapter 2. Clothes and Community Mama, Mom, and I pick up my sister, Lexi, at high school. Lexi is happy that she doesn't have to wear uniform. She likes to wear clothes that look really different from everybody else's. Today, she's wearing her Chinese dress. Mama's mom's family came from China. I tell Lexi that Mama said people speak through their clothes. She's right, said Lexi. Look over there. Can you guess which boy wants to be a country music star? Can you guess which, which kid wants to be a country music star? If it's a country, I think the guy in the high cowboy hat might be. At home, I ask Mama how else clothes speak for someone. She shows me pictures of Amish people. Mama explains that Amish wear very plain clothing for religious reasons. She says they want to look different from the world around them. But within their own community, Amish people don't want to stand out. When Ms. Choi was living in Pennsylvania, there was the Amish community around where Miss Choi lived. My friend Katie usually wears the same kind of clothes I do, but she has one dress that even sounds special. When she dances at powwows, she wears her jingle dress. Katie says jingle dresses are part of her family's traditions. Ojibwe women and girls wear them to celebrate their culture. My neighbor Ben has a little cap called a kippah that is a part of his family's culture. He wears it at his Jewish synagogue. And my friend Sadia wears a head covering her when she leaves her house. She tells me her special scarf is called a hijab. She says some Muslim women and girls wear it for religious reasons. Do you ever wear clothes from a special community or a culture? Chapter 3, Changing Clothes I don't wear anything on my head for my religion, but I do dress up to go to church on Sundays. Mom says it's a way of showing respect, and I like being fancy sometimes. Afterward, it's fun to go home and put on my comfiest clothes. I especially love my bunny slippers. I wear them so often that Mama says we better buy more carrots. People wear different kinds of clothes to do different things. What kind of clothes do you most like to wear? Chapter 4, The Big Decision It's time to choose my outfit for our dress-up day at school. There's so much to think about. I remember where my family comes from. I think about what I like now and who I want to become. Finally, I've decided. What do you think? Will my choices tell the world who I am? She's wearing her comfy pajamas, her... I wonder if that's Chinese, Chinese, um, Chinese pants or just pajama pants. 
um, and pink bunny slippers, um, karate robe, and a firefighter hat. I think that will tell the world who you are. Well, thank you, boys and girls.